Yeah, hey guys, so I'm about to explain the whole who John Par who Jon Snow's parents really are. So this is a major spoiler alert. The season finale just occurred for season six. So if you don't want to know this, just please fast forward about um five minutes in or so. So here's how it goes. So originally, because at the end of the episode, or close to the end of the episode, they pretty much let us know what happened. But, to be clear, so Danny's father, the Mad King, yeah, remember, he had a uh, son. His son was uh, Ray Rhaegar Targaryen, and so Rhaegar Tar uh, Targaryen was originally married to uh, Ilya Martell. Now, <laughs> because, like most men, especially back then, he wasn't faithful. He went and decided that Stark's sister was more appealing to him. So he went off and ran away with Ned Stark's sister, um, Lyanna. And so what happened was that, as we know, Robert Baratheon, he got very pissed. And that's when he went and uh, had Robert's Rebellion. Robert's Rebellion is when he killed the Mad King. Now, remember... The fact that he killed the um, he killed the head of the Targaryen household. So of course, if there's going to be any other Targaryens, he's going to go and kill them too. Now keep that in mind because <laughs> Ned Stark's sister just ran off with the Targaryen, even though she was supposed to go and marry um, Robert. And so they actually had a son. They had a baby, but no one knew about it except for Ned. And so Ned found where she was. It was called the Tower of Joy, and in the Tower of Joy, yeah, I know it's all getting connected <laughs> now, uh, in the Tower of Joy, that's where Ned Stark's sister was, she gave birth, and she was about to die, because a lot of women back then, um, when they gave birth, they died, but she made, he had to make a promise to her, and she whispered in his ear, so we're assuming that she basically said, make sure that no one finds out, make sure he doesn't know. So, the reason why Ned stayed so close to Robert was actually to keep an eye on his nephew, Jon Snow. His nephew is Jon Snow. He is not his son. So, Jon Snow is indeed a Stark. Not only is he a Stark by blood, but actually from his mother's side and not his father's side, he's also a Targaryen. And the important thing about that is the fact that he... The fact that Danny is actually looking for a husband. She's looking for a suitor because she knows in order to take over um, the Seven Kingdoms, she's going to need to go and find a suitable mate who's from there. And we don't know when this information is going to be revealed, but long story short, we possibly think that Danny and Jon Snow are going to go and agree to get married, you know, for political reasons so that they can join forces and all of that. And... They're both technically Targaryens. <laughs> and he really is a star. I mean, I could not... I was like, oh my gosh, it's all coming together. And you know at this point, unfortunately, when something like this occurs, that usually means that the show is um, coming to an end. Game of Thrones, as we know it, is definitely going to come to an end. I don't know in how many more seasons. I just know that the fact that they're killing off these uh, ca certain characters and finally revealing these key pieces of information, it makes you think, oh crap, maybe, <laughs> maybe it's almost time for the show to end. <laughs> And we just have to accept it. But again, that's just Jon Snow and his lineage and his heritage um, revealed and explained. So please stay tuned because I'm actually going to do two videos. Uh, my next video will be the recap for Game of Thrones, the season finale for season 6. So technically episode 10. Wow, I just couldn't believe it. Please like, comment, subscribe.